Hunt is now. Over all three men accused in a double murder are in jail. Authority tracking down the final suspect in St. Petersburg today. Chip Osowski joining us live from the Bradenton neighborhood, where I guess everyone is a little relieved that this is over. Well, you're absolutely right, Keith. You can see in front of the home there is a makeshift memorial and a sign, a Crime Stopper sign, offering rewards for up to $1,000 for tips leading to the suspect's arrest. Well, it was a Crime Stopper's tip that led to this third arrest. A surveillance camera captured the three gunmen entering the home on Southern Parkway West. Contrell Brooks and Esther Denus were shot and killed. Five children were in the home at the time. Some witnessed the crime. Police hoped someone would recognize the men. Officers got an early break in the case on Monday when they arrested two of the three, 18-year-old Trey Nanombre and Jimmy Lee McNear. But the third man, 33-year-old Therese Jones, remained on the run until Tuesday afternoon. No, he's just curious on how we got him. And marshals told him, we're the marshals, we get everybody. So we got him, so that's three for three. Bradenton Police Lieutenant James Rackey tells us it was a Crime Stoppers tip that led officers north to St. Petersburg. It was through a Crime Stoppers tip, and we were able to locate that house, surround the house. Conversation went back and forth with the occupants of the house, and eventually Mr. Jones did walk out without incident. It's ugly, and I'm glad they're gone. I'm so not vicious, but how many lives have they destroyed? Margaret Noel Ray lives next door to the home and wonders what would have happened had the men not been caught. We're innocent people here, and they come to our door by mistake. Then what would they do? So. You give me an opinion. Jones now faces one count of second degree murder and one count of home invasion. Deputies booked him into the Pinellas County Jail late this afternoon. Keith? And Chip, there's a lot of speculation about this perhaps being uh, drug related, but no official confirmation on that. Not at this point, Keith. Police do tell us that there were drugs in the home, but they have yet to say if the shooting was actually mm -hmm. drug related. We shall find out soon. Chip Osowski, live in Bradenton. Thank you.